Hey everybody, Nick Strab here. I'm, I'm sure you guys all know me. <clears throat> so, um, we're going to be doing a game uh, here, and it's called uh, What Did the Groom Say? And so there's going to be um, a, a series of questions, and so I will give my answers to these questions, and these questions are uh, have all to do about Danielle. So, let's just jump right into it. So, <clears throat> the first question is, what is one thing Danielle can't live without? So, she cannot live without her blankets because she's a very cold person, cold body, and she's got to have those damn blankets. So uh, that that is um, that is that one. So number two, where was your second date? So our second date was at a Chipotle <clears throat> in Warrensburg, Missouri. Um, go meals, yeah, for UCM, and so. Uh, um, <laughs> So we uh, we had it at Chipotle, and I actually got caught doing something there uh, when I was with her. I uh, was looking, kind of looking at her breasts, and so Danielle did notice that I was looking at her breasts, and she goes, "Hey, Bucko, keep your eyes up here." And so that's what happened with that. <laughs> um, so third question: So where was our first kiss? So our first kiss was actually at our, um, during, after our, our first date. And so our first kiss was at, in a parking lot of her sorority house of Delta Zeta. So, <clears throat> um, you know, we're in the parking lot and, you know, just, uh, you know, I was being pretty sly cause she, she does think I was pretty sly about the first kiss. And, um, and yeah, she thinks I'm still sly. You guys should ask her about that. Um, all right, so number four. So Danielle's least favorite household chore. So um, her least favorite household chore would be, uh, so now she likes, she's fine with replacing the trash, but she just does not like having to actually take the trash to the, to, to like our trash bin, like outside. So that is, would be her least favorite chore. <clears throat> so number five, so what is the first thing she does in the morning? So um, obviously she gets up out of bed. Um, now we have uh, two two ba bathrooms. So sh she has one bathroom out of the other because her bathroom, she's got to have that bathroom because the lighting is just, um, you know, out of this world for her and she has to have it for her makeup. So that's why she took that one. And so she goes in there, and the first thing she technically does in the morning is just go to the, to the bathroom. So, um, so number, we are on number six. So what is Danielle's celebrity crush? Um, so her celebrity crush would be Zac Efron, which, uh, unfortunately, I am, I am not Zac Efron, and I'm not a celebrity crush, but she has said before that I look like Zac Efron. Um, which is a total lie, but I really wish that that was true. <laughs> so number seven, uh, what is Danielle's favorite meal to cook? So we kind of do this together. We've been doing this for a while, but her, uh, well, the meal that she likes to cook is chicken fajitas. Um, she actually has this thing called the fajita dance. Um, you guys should ask her about that fajita dance. <laughs> uh, all right. So number eight. So, how would Danielle describe her dream date? So if you ask her today what her dream date would be, um, <clears throat> it would be going to Colton Steakhouse in Warren's in Missouri and then uh, for dinner. And then we would go home uh, and then, uh, you know, a, a back massage when she gets home. And then after that, probably watching a movie or a uh, TV show like on Netflix and just like just cuddling with each other so that would be like her dream date <clears throat> so number nine so what is danielle's biggest fear now there's kind of like a like a tie here so two things that jump out to me is so she hates spiders so that's you know that's that's like always a fear for her but she also this is gonna sound a little weird but um another thing she also fears is like being kidnapped or murdered and she, like, watches a lot of, like, crime documentaries and, like, listens to podcasts. So I think she, like, psychs herself out. And so, like, that's been 
another thing too. So, like I said, those are those two are just kind of a tie. Uh, number ten. So, who said I loved you first? That would be me. I I was the one that said um, I love you first. So, uh, guilty as charged. So, number eleven. What would you say, or what would what would she say is the best present you ever gave her? That is, um, I gave her this like heated blanket from Walmart. It, um, it's like, it's actually really nice. And so she has said probably a couple times that that was like the best present I ever gave her, which like I said, she's a cold body. So it's like perfect for her. So number, uh, number 12. So what does she do that annoys you? All right. <laughs> so she, she does this thing where like, if we're at home, <clears throat> we'll be in like different rooms and she will like try to have a conversation with me or like start to talk try to start start talking to me and I only hear if best like 25% of what she's saying because like I mean we're in different rooms imagine that right <laughs> so and then she gets annoyed at me or she gets annoyed and mad because she's like oh you're not listening or, or you don't hear me I'm like yeah because we're in different rooms which I don't say that of course but you know makes perfect sense why so yeah that's that's what's been <laughs> she annoys me about that so all right number 14 her favorite ice cream flavor so her favorite ice cream ice cream flavor is a uh, cookie dough with vanilla with vanilla ice cream so that's her uh that's her favorite ice cream flavor number 15 so what did you think she noticed about or let me let me say that again what did you think she noticed about you first so if we're talking about like the first day we met um which we actually met at a party which is in good old ucm so snout out um and so the first thing that she noticed about me was that, and she said this before, so this is her words, is that she thought that I was confident for just coming on up to her and talking to her. So um, I would say for her, that was probably the first thing she noticed um, for me. So number 16, so what makes her laugh the most? Again, there's like two that's a tie with this, but like being goofy or like derpy, but also she like, um, she does, she hates to be tickled but she also laughs a lot when she gets tickled so it's kind of like you know tickling for sure i think and you gotta keep her on her toes so all right so number 17 so what was the first thing you noticed about her so the first thing i noticed about her and in, in which if this is referring to the first day we met um i noticed that um like how gorgeous she was i thought that she um, you know, actually didn't go to UCM. I thought she went to Missouri State. Um, and so she, I, I was just like stunned and, and blown away that she went to UCM. Cause I was like, there's no way you're, you're too, you're too good looking. You're too gorgeous to be a UCM mule. And so, yeah, I thought that she was D1, D1, uh, D1 hotness. So, all right. So, Number 18, so who is the better driver? So this is, uh, I think she's, she's definitely the better driver. It's it's funny, though, because I'm the one that actually drives us around all the time because I like to drive. She doesn't like to drive. And so <clears throat> uh, it's kind of funny because it's like she's the better driver but doesn't actually drive us around. So just kind of ironic. <laughs> all right, so number 19, so who is Danielle's celebrity lookalike? So her celebrity lookalike is Kirsten Dunst. Dunst. Um, she was like in like the original like Spider Mans and a lot of different movies. So um, especially like when I see her high school photos or like pictures, I think she looks like Kirsten Dunst. I mean, it's just me, but I might be wrong, but that's just that's what I think. Number twenty, last question. So what is your favorite thing about Danielle? So my favorite thing about her is how um goofy she is and like derpy and um how very like thoughtful and sweet she is she's very selfless and then um and and she also has really funny roasts too <laughs> so she's just like really good with them like uh she has hilarious roasts so um but yeah and those are all the reasons why I love her so but that is um 
that is the end of our um, game, which was the, what did the groom say? So have a great night, guys, and be safe.